Hey YouTube, happy new year. This video is going to be the update video that I was telling you about. Just a few things that have been going on with me. Um, as you all know, I had my Beauty by NTW launch party on December the 5th. And that went very, very well. I got a few contacts, a few jobs from that um, launch party. And... At the end of this video, I'm going to include some of the pictures from the launch party. The thing that kind of got me is that everybody thought that I was going to be selling makeup. And I guess my invitation wasn't really clear to say that I was a makeup artist. But anyway, I had a good turnout. I was able to do several faces and have some before and after pictures. So what I'm going to be doing with the before and after pictures is I am going to try and update my website so that I can use that as like a marketing tool for myself. I'm still trying to work on branding myself and getting myself out there. Um, so we'll see what happens but 2016 looks really good for Beauty by an ECW makeup artistry and I am super excited about it. Um, the other thing that has been happening to me and kind of kept me off YouTube for a couple of weeks is that I have been having like a lot of pain in my lower left leg. And a few years ago, and I think I was doing um, YouTube at the time, a few years ago I was diagnosed with a condition called Takayasu's arteritis. And what it basically is it's like a rare form of vasculitis where like the aorta or the arteries that sort of branch from the aorta get inflamed and they either narrow or they get blocked off so I already had arteries in my abdominal aorta arteries going to the kidneys um, and I think one artery in my neck, I think, maybe. I'm not sure because they don't really talk about that one. But um, those are either blocked or um, narrowed. But thank God other arteries sort of compensated for those. And I haven't lost any kidney function. I don't have any, like, pains in this area or anything like that. But when I got... The leg pain, I was very worried, so I went and saw the rheumatologist, and um, he sent me for an MRI, which is like my maybe third or fourth MRI in the past three years, and they basically um, focused on the abdomen and the lower extremities for the MRI, which it took three hours to do that MRI. But those results came back not showing any more narrowing anywhere, thank God. But the pain in my leg remained and I talked with the rheumatologist and we pretty much narrowed it down to the fact that my primary doctor put me on Lipitor. Not that my lipid levels were super high, but because I already had the narrow in the arteries, he didn't want anything else to cause any blockage of the arteries and put me into a lot of trouble. So, he put me on Lipitor, which is what is causing the leg pain. They did a um, blood test to show that my muscle enzymes were up. And Lipitor can cause your muscle enzymes to be elevated. And I believe that is where the leg pain is coming from. So... <clears throat> I was talking to the, the rheumatologist and he was saying that since in the past three years that I have been going through this, it does not seem, it seems that the condition pretty much kind of stopped where it was and he was going to put me on steroids with him, which it would have just destroyed me to be on steroids because I'm already needing to lose weight, but he decided that the condition pretty much stopped and he was very happy about that and that um, I didn't need to be on steroids and I only need to follow up with him once a year so thank God all of that is well and good 
And speaking of the weight part of it, I started doing Weight Watchers maybe about maybe three weeks ago. Right before, hmm, maybe right after Thanksgiving maybe. Because I had that conversation with my doctor and he was saying that um, I needed to lose weight because of everything that's going on with me. And I needed to lose weight anyway because I just need to lose weight. But um, so I started Weight Watchers again. So far I have lost about 7 pounds. And that is because I have not been able to exercise because of the pain in my leg. But I am going to continue with the Weight Watchers and new Smart Points program. I am going to start exercising with my DVDs. I have plenty of like walk away the pounds DVDs. I have a treadmill in the basement. I have a spin bike in the basement. We have weight machines in the basement and a dedicated room that we have for exercise. So I am going to start adding exercise to my routine. I have been doing like a lot of green smoothies and I really like them so I'm going to continue those. I am going to start like making my lunches at home like meal prepping my lunches at home so it's going to be a lot of fish a lot of grilled chicken a lot of steamed vegetables brown rice and things like that what I am trying to stay away from or limit a lot is white rice white bread white potatoes anything like that because those are carbs and my blood sugar was a little bit crazy on one of my tests but thank god the last one I did that it was normal but I want to keep that under control because there's diabetes in my family. So we are going to continue with Weight Watchers and exercise. I'll keep you all updated with how I am doing. Like I said so far down 7 pounds and I'm very happy about that. I feel like a lot more energy than I had before. I don't feel so sluggish. I don't feel so bloated. So, so far so good. And I just wanted to come and update you all with that information. And I am going to put my pictures of my launch party at the end of this video. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Bye. Feet is ill. Have you looking good? Man, it looks good. Ew. No, I don't.